So guys, uh, the method as you can see is really simple. The first part is that uh, the person has to uh, run this bicycle and the wheel is connected to this 220 volts DC generator motor. And I have connected two belts to uh, minimize the probability of getting a slip of belt and pulley. And uh, you can see I, I chose this uh, DC generator because it has a removable brush provision here like if the brushes finish off I have to remove this knob and then I have to replace the brushes and then I'm good to go again you can see here it is uh, written 180 volts DC uh, although if I'll increase the RPM then obviously the voltage is going to go beyond 180 volts and uh, to the output terminals of this DC generator I have connected this 220 volts DC to 220 volts AC converter this is 400 watts and to the output of this converter AC is coming out and it is connected here to the 220 volts to 12 volts DC converter although uh, the voltage of this supply can be managed with the help of this potentiometer knob VTR so I can select a voltage by changing this potentiometer knob from uh, 0 volts to uh, to around uh, 17 volts yeah and the maximum current output of this is uh, 17 amperes so at present here you can see that the setup has 12 volts batteries and all of them are connected in parallel and each battery is 7 h so making it like a 7 fours are 28 12 volts and 28 h battery pack that this converter is charging I have actually set its knob to uh, 14.7 uh, volts charge these batteries and I also connected this meter to display the current flowing into these batteries while charging and the voltage that these uh, batteries are gaining link to buy this uh, product has been provided in the description and also link to buy this product has also been provided in the description so you can check that out Also guys, I would have provided a link uh, to buy this product too, but uh, this product is not available in the market. I checked it out. I got it from a scrap market. So guys, as you already saw that the setup was performing great and my plan is to connect this entire setup uh, to my studio emergency lightning system because in India there are uh, some light outs still. So basically for that reason, I made this video. And now that you have seen the charging system, now I'm going to measure the amps that I'm generating with a bicycle generator by glowing the car headlamp bulbs. This is the indicator one and this is the actual headlamp bulb. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to glow this one because it is around 60 watts. Yeah, 12 volts, 60 watts. Okay, so uh, yeah, well, at least I'm going to try it. Okay, so guys, now I'm going to start uh, the bicycle and you should see this bulb glow and plus uh, the voltage and amps displayed on the meter, digital meter. Okay, so let's do this. Yeah, so guys, as you saw that it was working pretty good. Now let's go a little more by connecting this car headlamp bulb. Okay, so guys, as you can see that uh, the 60 watts bulb has been connected. Now so let's test this bulb with the bicycle generator. <laughs> 